Dear colleagues, here at headquarters this morning, uh, we held a press conference to discuss our business results for last year, uh, as well as our goals for the years to come. 2018 was another eventful year for us here at Fresenius, though not all the events were positive. We would have preferred to avoid the legal battle with ACORN, but there was just no other way to defend our principles. It was hard work, but in the end, it was worth it. We won the case. Proof that it pays to stand up and fight for your convictions. Also last year, in some of our businesses, we didn't grow quite as rapidly as we had hoped. And as a result, we had to reduce our communicated earnings targets, even twice, uh, whilst that is not something we're used to at all. And that created quite some uncertainty in the capital markets. The trust that we had built over the years has suffered. Uh, many of you who are colleagues and shareholders uh, will have followed our share price development. We, and I personally, uh, will have to work hard to restore uh, what we have lost. Still, the negative headlines should not obscure the fact that overall 2018 uh, was yet another successful year for Fresenius. With our products and services, we cared for even more patients. We also increased sales by 6% and earnings even by 7 in what will go down as our 15th consecutive record year. The number of our colleagues climbed to more than 276,000. And we successfully expanded our activities in every business segment. Something that was only possible thanks to your commitment and hard work. Uh, so I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude. Thank you. Now, I'm very confident that we will remain successful into the future. And to facilitate that, we will substantially increase the investments into our businesses again this year. That will impact our earnings growth temporarily, but we will be positioning Fresenius even better for the coming decade. And we also want to strengthen cooperation within our group. Without a doubt, our decentralized structure has made us strong and we will continue to benefit from its advantages. At the same time, though, we want to create further synergies. It's not a contradiction. We only need to invent the wheel once. Let me give you just two examples of what I mean. In North America, Fresenius Medical Care is supporting Fresenius Carby's entry into the infusion solutions market. In Europe, Fresenius Helios and Fresenius Barmet are cooperating even more extensively in the hospital business. We want to expand cooperation and to connect everyone more closely with one another. We see enormous potential, potential we're keen to harness for the benefit of our patients and our company. The work we do is more important than ever. The healthcare market is growing. People are living longer. And the demand for high quality medical care is increasing throughout the world. At the same time, patients' needs and demands are changing. It's no longer only about saving lives, but about improving quality of life well into old age, and about making sure that quality medical care remains affordable over the long term. These are mighty challenges, but challenges I believe we are superbly positioned to meet. Let's tackle them together. Thank you for your ongoing support.